So many of you have asked for me to do a ready to wear collection video. So I'm gonna do a little two in one in today's video. I've got a collection, but also a little bit of a haul because I do have a couple of new pieces that I recently added to my ready to wear collection. I don't have a ton of pieces. My collection is not very big. So I thought just kind of doing an all in one, but also making this a good starting point so I can see how my collection grows from here on out because this is definitely an area when it comes to luxury that I want to grow my collection. So let's go ahead and dive into some of my ready to wear pieces. Before we dive into the ready to wear pieces, I did wanna share my favorite jewelry line with you. I actually recently did a gift guide under $500 and I didn't mention them and I kind of regretted it. So I wanted to mention them in this video because if you do have any upcoming like gift needs or if you're looking for gift ideas for yourself, like obviously luxury ready to wear is amazing. The price point is very, very different than this, but you do get beautiful quality pieces. So these are solid gold pieces and they're lab grown diamonds. I've actually recently started growing my ideal jewelry collection because I feel like it is a great way to start a capsule wardrobe when it comes to your jewelry. They've got beautiful earring pieces. They've got necklaces. They've now got bracelets. I don't have any of their bracelets, but I do have a couple of their necklaces. I have a lot of their earrings now and I love the fact that they are modular so you can stack their pieces. You can stack their necklaces. You can stack their earrings. You you can mix and match things. I love doing different earrings on different sides. I'm showing you the what I'm wearing today because this is truly my everyday like earring set. I wear these every single day. I do two of their studs and in the front one I do the halo on both sides but for like an occasion or if I'm doing something where I just want to do a little something else I do add on their pieces quite often. I'm obsessed with their jewelry like seriously obsessed with their jewelry. Like I said I do have my own little collection kind of growing. They are beautiful quality pieces, like I said, that you could literally have in your collection and continue to grow and continue to wear them because you can wear them so many different ways. I am an ideal partner, so I do have a coupon code that you can save 10%. It's not stackable, so if they're having any sort of promos going on right now, you won't be able to do the promo as well as my coupon code, but also check out what they usually have as far as the free gift. Every time I order from them, I almost always get some sort of free gift, which is always fun, whether it's like a travel jewelry box or maybe you'll get like a clean cleaning kit. I do recommend their cleaning kit as well. I actually use their cleaning kit to clean all of my jewelry. It just it's a really good cleaning kit and just kind of compact. You get a little brush, you get the little serum to clean out the jewelry. It just makes it really, really easy. So I'll link everything down below for you guys. But like I said, if you're looking for a good gift idea, I highly, highly recommend Ideal. Just the quality of their pieces are so, so beautiful. Even for yourself, it's such a good starting point to creating that capsule wardrobe when it comes to your jewelry. I, I know I've said this basically every single time I mention Ideal jewelry, but in this particular set that I'm wearing right now, I never take these off. Like this is literally my every single day set that only comes off to get cleaned, but I shower in these, I bathe in them, I work out in them. Because they are solid gold, I don't have to worry about any tarnishing or anything kind of turning green or anything like that. Like this is quality investment jewelry but obviously at a much greater price point. So everything will be linked down below for you guys. Like I said, these are such a great gift idea for you or someone special. For some reason, I really like adding the layers, cardigans, jackets, things like that to my ready to wear collection. This was definitely one of my first pieces. It's a Burberry cardigan. I love this piece, highly, highly recommend it. It is so, so classic. I actually really, really love the, I wanna say this one's called the Heritage Check. Highly recommend this. It is is it still available? I have it in a size small, so I would definitely say it runs true to size. It's kind of like old school, but modern, very, very classic. I think this is a really, really good way to add Burberry to your ready to wear collection. It's a piece that I can have for the rest of my life. I have another Burberry item for you. This is a Burberry cape that I love. With that said, I've only worn it, I think maybe once. I wish I lived in a slightly colder climate that I feel like I would reach for this a little bit more often. I could also see wearing this a little later in life, if that makes any sense. I still feel like it's a classic piece. Obviously this oversized check is so, so chic. I personally, right now like styling this with a very very simple like clean you know slim fit outfit underneath like what i'm wearing today where it's like a fitted tee some leggings i just think it's a very chic piece but i just really don't reach for it a lot 
any like lately, but I definitely have no intentions of getting rid of it. I do feel like it's very chic, very classic, and I could see reaching for it later in, on in life. So that's exactly why I will keep it in my collection. Balmain is one of my favorite brands when it comes to ready to wear options, because I just feel like the details in their pieces are so beautiful. This is a cardigan. As you can see, I haven't worn it, worn it yet. I will say I forgot that I even had this piece until recently, so I do plan on wearing it soon. I love the Balmain on the back. It is long and lean, a little bit more oversized than the Burberry one, but I love the Balmain buttons. It's like signature Balmain. It's such a beautiful piece, a good neutral. And I think I have this one in a, I have this one in a 38. So I would definitely say it's a little bit oversized, but pretty true to size for sure. I love a good neutral. Please ignore that this needs a very, very good steam. This one actually just came off the drying rack. This is a piece that I wear a little bit more often because it's just an oversized cropped tee. I will say I do have this in a medium. I'm gonna pop on a picture of me wearing it, but keep in mind, that's an older photo. It's before I lost weight. So I would actually wish I had this in a smaller size. I don't plan on getting rid of it, at least I don't think, but I probably will buy another one in one or two sizes even down. Like I said, this is a size medium. I do like it. I love having just kind of basics like this in luxury. I just feel like it's a easy, wearable way to wear luxury. With that said, I will also just kind of tell you, ready to wear is a lot more high maintenance than your everyday clothing, even in a basic tee. Like my basic tees, I wash and dry. I typically don't buy basic tees unless you can wash and dry them. I'm not saying I don't have some that I lay flat to dry or hang on a rack, but for the most part, I really just prefer easy when it comes to my basics. Luxury, you can't do that. Like I do put this on the rack. I do put it in a gentle cycle in the wash machine in a gentle detergent, and then I, I lay it flat to dry. That's why you have to steam them. So just kind of keep that in mind. That goes for all ready to wear. And my last Balmain piece is this denim jacket, which I love, I love, 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 love this piece. Like I said, I just feel like Balmain does such a good job with the details and look at all of the button details. It is such a stunning jacket. Again, I wish that I had this in a smaller size because I did buy this when I was a little heavier. And so because of that, I do wish that it was a little bit more fitted. With, with that said, I don't plan on getting rid of this one at all. Like I love it and I think it's really, really cute. I just do kind of wish I had it in a smaller size, but I love this piece. It's classic, classic, classic. I love a good denim jacket. And this one's a good wash. It's not too light. It's not a dark wash. It's a good kind of light medium. And I just feel like it's so beautiful. Every single time I pull this one out, I get a ton of compliments on it. I have one more Burberry piece that I wanted to share with you. I don't really wear this one that often, but it's another just kind of classic quilted lightweight jacket that I feel like, again, this is a good starting point when it comes to adding luxury to your collection. You want something casual, everyday, wearable. This is a really good piece. It comes in a ton of different colors. I actually almost kind of wish I would have gotten a different color. This is just kind of like the caramel, camel, tan, beige color. I feel like a navy would be really, really nice in this or like an emerald green would be really, really nice in this or the red would be really, really nice in this. I got it in a small and I love it. It's classic. I feel like I could wear this forever. It's just a good light layer that you could wear quite often actually. This is definitely a, one of my favorite pieces from Louis Vuitton. It is this like oversized, what would you call this? Like a windbreaker, track jacket, and a rock jacket, I'm not sure, but it's big, it's oversized. You've got the black on black logo, which I just feel like is super chic. I have this in a 36. Kinda wish I had it in a 34 because I did buy this again when I was a little bit heavier, but I still love it. It's oversized in such a good way. Again, this is one of those pieces that I can wear with super simple like athletic style outfits and it instantly gives it a zhuzh. I just really, really love this piece. I'll pop on some pictures of me wearing it. It is a good piece and still available. So if you wanna add this to your luxury ready to wear collection, I highly, highly recommend this one. This is a new piece that nobody has seen yet. I got this one a couple of months ago. I just haven't shared, I actually, filmed an unboxing video of this and it just, it didn't work out, the footage. So I just never got a chance to share, but you know how obsessed I am with bomber jackets. So I felt adding a luxury one would be so fun. This is a Louis Vuitton bomber jacket. This one also has the black on black logo, but it's plain on the backside, but the sleeves have it. 
This is a fun jacket. I really, really like this jacket. I feel like, again, simple outfit, throw this on, it's just a vibe, would be cute. Casual would be cute, athletic. I just feel like it could be styled a few different ways. I grabbed this one in a 34, and I do feel like a 34 fits me a little bit better. So I would say a 34 is my true to size right now, kind of like an extra small slash small. I would say a 36 is more like a small slash medium. The sizing is a little bit different, just FYI. But I love this one. So this is a new piece that you guys haven't seen. So hopefully I style it soon. So make sure to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, because I might even do like a how to wear, ready to wear video, I don't, I don't know. But I really love this piece, I think it's beautiful. And I just want to add more ready to wear, like I said, that is an area that I want to grow my collection. And these are perfect pieces to add. This is my newest ready to wear piece. And as you can see, it is Gucci. I haven't worn this yet. I literally bought it recently and had it here in my, in my office and was so excited to share this with you. I ended up ordering, well, let me just show you what the piece is and we'll go from there. This is the garment bag but that their clothing comes in and their garment bags come in different sizes based on the item that you order that. And I know that because I ordered something to go with it, but I got, you know that this is an area that I'm obsessed with. I got the oversized Gucci blazer. I am obsessed obsessed with this piece. I got this in a 38. So I will say French sizes and Italian sizes are different. So the Louis Vuitton size 38 is not a Gucci size 38. I wanna say they're off by like one. I could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure that that's the case because in Louis Vuitton, I am definitely more like a 34, maybe 36. And in Gucci, I'm a 38, and a 38 is considered an extra small at Gucci, and a 34 is considered, I wanna say, like an extra small at Louis Vuitton. So I think they're off by just a little bit. So I highly recommend looking at the size chart because they're slightly different. Hopefully I'm right here and I'm not just saying something that is wrong or just their sizing is way off. But I got this in a 38 and it fits me now like a glove. So I love it, I love it. You know how obsessed I am with blazers. This one just fits so, so amazing. I love the black on black, just like I love the black on black for the Louis Vuitton, but it's so good in this oversized GG. So, so chic. And this is one of the most flattering blazers that I own. Obviously I haven't worn it yet. So I actually ended up ordering the pants to go with it so I could just have the suit and wear it kind of separate or wear it together to kind of have that like, you know, that boss suit. Unfortunately, the pants, I ordered them in a 38, which was a size two, I wanna say, on their size chart, way too long. The waist fit me up here at the rib cage, and then the crotch was like down to almost my knees. The fit of the pants was so bad on me. With that said, I'm not giving up because I do wanna try luxury bottoms at some point. I'm just not sure if they're made for like the model type because I definitely don't have a model body. I am very, very short. Very, very short legs, very, very short torso. I was kind of bummed that I couldn't get the pants to go with it to get the full suit, but I love this. I just feel like this is such a good way to add ready to wear to your collection in a way for me, especially because I'm obsessed with blazers that I can actually truly enjoy and wear and love. I just think this piece is classic, it's beautiful. I can have this, again, also forever. So I know this technically isn't ready to wear because it's not luxury, it's kind of that sweet spot when it comes to you know, quality meets luxury, price point that I talk about quite often whenever I'm sharing kind of these mid-range brands. But I've recently fallen in love with Veronica Beard. Well, I say recently only because I've recently added pieces to my collection. I've always been obsessed with the brand. Like I've talked about them over the years. It's kind of been like a wish list brand for me. And I did recently add a few more blazers and bottoms from Veronica Beard. And I just thought I would share a couple of them with you. I got this one on sale. If it's still available, I'll link it down below. But I love, 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 love this blazer. It's so much fun. I didn't end up getting a matching bottom because I don't think there was one, but I just thought this could be styled so many different ways. 
Here is another blazer that I got. I did get the matching pants for this one, but I really, really fell in love with this material. The quality of these pieces are amazing, 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 amazing. And obviously, yes, these are still investment pieces, but they're nowhere near like luxury ready to wear. And again, I know this isn't ready to wear, but I just wanted to include a few of my new pieces with you because I'm just obsessed with this brand now. These are the pants that go with that jacket. They're very, very long on me, so I will have to get them hemmed, but just such beautiful pieces. I also got one of their classic suits in navy with the gold buttons. I'm obsessed with this suit. Such a good suit. Obviously, you can wear it separate or together. And then I'm also gonna pop on a picture of me wearing a houndstooth suit that I recently got from them as well. Fell in love with that suit as well. I just think their pieces are so, so beautiful. Very, very classic. And they do run true to size. So all of the jackets in Veronica Beard, I have them in a size two. And then most of the bottoms, I have them in a two, except these pants in particular, I did get these in a size zero. That size just fit me a little bit better. But again, if you're looking to kind of create that capsule wardrobe when it comes to workwear, blazers, dress pants, stuff like that, check out Veronica Beard. I'll link some options down below for you guys. So there you have it. Just a few of my luxury ready to wear pieces. I think that's everything. So hopefully I didn't miss anything. I'll link as much as I can down below in the info box for you. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. I typically do a lot of fashion and luxury videos. So make sure to join the YouTube family, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification button. So you don't miss any future videos. If you love luxury, trust me, you're gonna wanna be subscribed and let me know if you want any particular videos in these pieces, maybe like a style video, like how to style something. I recently did a Veronica Beard video sharing one blazer. I styled it five different ways and I seriously had so much fun, so much fun with that video. That might be one of my all time favorite YouTube videos. I will pop it down below or pop it on the screen for you guys to check it out, but go through my channel, watch some of the other videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.